Hey guys, it's John P. with GeekBeat, and today we're going to take a look at the Acer C720 Chromebook. Okay guys, so I've actually held off on doing this review for a little while because I've been using this Chromebook. And at some point, I was using it so much that I realized, you know what, I just need to stop using it and do a review and share this with you. Um, it's interesting because I used to be, like when Chromebooks first came out, I was one of those guys who was like, why in God's name does this product exist? I, who would possibly use this? Well, I'm a complete convert. I had an HP Chromebook uh, that I thought was pretty good and I liked it, but then Acer sent me over the C720, which totally changed things for me. So I wanna kinda give you a look at it and talk to you about it. This is the C720, it's an older model. They've got newer versions coming out, specifically one that's a touchscreen model, so that should be really cool. And what's nice is, the price points on the C720, they start at like $200. So you can get, um, there, there's not a huge selection, but there are some that have two gigs of RAM, some that have four gigs of RAM, and they're gonna be in the 200 to $220 range. It doesn't matter which one you get, they're all great. So this is the actual unit itself. You will see that it's very thin, it's very light, and it's got a few ports on it. So first of all, it's got an HDMI output, so we can actually hook this to a bigger monitor. It's also got USB 3, it's got a microphone slash headphone jack here, so you could do conference calling and stuff. It has an SD slot, so you could use that for expanding your memory or importing uh, pictures, and another USB over here. So I've got on mine the little, uh, I've got a little ten dollar mouse plugged in and I prefer that uh, because one of the things on a little two hundred dollar device is none of the individual components here are going to be class leading. The, the touch pad is okay. It's not bad at all, don't get me wrong, but it's okay. Uh, the mouse works better, so I prefer to have a mouse unless I'm portable. The screen it's a nice screen. It's not really bright. This is as bright as it will get. Um, so I'd say it's probably you know two thirds the maximum brightness of let's say this little MacBook Air over here. Then again, it costs one tenth the price. Okay. Um, but what's so liberating about this device is that for 90% of what you're doing on a daily basis, it turns out you can use a Chromebook. So that's like email, web surfing, Google Docs. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, I've, got, uh, I've just got a few tabs open. So I've got an Evernote tab here. I've got a Dropbox tab here, Google Drive, um, you know, Gmail. Uh, all these main apps that you can get and you can use on a tablet, you can use them on a Chromebook. So they work well. So I guess the bottom line is this. If you've never considered a Chromebook before, the Acer C720 will change your mind about that. And I think it's totally worth having, if for no other reason than to use it for portable, uh, you know, while you're traveling around, uh, it has a great long battery life, or when visitors come over to your house, you can hand them the Chromebook and they can use it as their kind of loner unit. Then, just to cap things off, okay, that's enough reason to buy one right there. But just to cap it all off, when you buy one of these Chromebooks, Google actually gives you a bunch of extra storage. And that was kind of just a bonus. Plus, if that isn't enough, wait, there's more, you also get credit so that when you go flying on the airlines, uh, you can log in using the Wi-Fi on the airlines for something like 10 or 15 different trips. And that alone would cost you as much as this thing does. So, bottom line, Acer C720, I give it two big, big thumbs up. Well worth the 200 bucks. Everybody should go out and get one. And whenever I get the one that has the touch screen, I'll give you guys an update and let you know if it's worth paying roughly 100 bucks more for that. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned for even more reviews and tech news here on GeekBeat. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash GeekBeatTV. Give us a thumbs up. I got to get back to work now.